That was my childhood. Oh, yeah, I thought it was something else. Well, some things. Yeah, that's the that's that's state of the West. I was like, some things have a change. Back to your team. Okay. 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 Are you on it now, LT? Oh, yeah, you are. I'm sorry. Just there in the same house. Does everyone get to do it? Modified healthcare makes the AC unsustainable. The draft for profit increases cost of desk care. What's going to see the AC? Strength of property insurance. Modified crisp financial unsustainable. Fields become a number 27 million rate. Under insurance coverage become unusable. Property insurance produces excess of higher than the public. They pay for marketing. Exorbitant salaries then. Dividends insurance corporations deny with profit by denying or delaying care. The health of reform recovery from coal and military policy. Into the assistant secretary of defense. Emergency architect managed competence. The model for coal and reform. Romney care. Obama care. Neil reform. Obama care. The next number of property insurance. Obama. Who be receiving care? Change the position. Obama receive the large contribution. Obama insurance. Obama care. Version one. The components more financial change. Obama financial institution. Obama market change. Care the ACA prioritizes profits over people, which makes coverage and access to care out of reach. Millions Christians and somebody even healthcare is probably going to become down healthcare, but probably private insurance, private companies have been sent to the US system is healthcare, not private insurance companies have been administered, private and hospitals, something about not insurance people for going as a little bit of your outcomes and other panels for the worst of the marriage, we can't leave you to be exasperated with conditions that can also be prevented. No computer center, they're never sent to the doctor, the doctor, and it's not a problem of cost. The AC says, but under insurance, increase the cost of many public hospitals and safety nets, excess of insurance, reflects the inherent difficulty of policy, they seek to extend access with the number of the privatized financing. That commodification of care arbitrarily executes thousands every year. We must transform healthcare into a social institution to address massive quality and confront the illiterals. And talk about modification of collective health care, social education, music, specific abandonment, and deal with all those Cuban medicines. Well, Creole have been able to find out about health, even though none of these is wealthy. Another system and ideology do exist to create a healthy environment. They have equality, success, but a creative role like arbitrary execution, which is like a health inequality. Say that of a government that executes a different proportion of its population each year without cost, social institution, need to be recognized and valued within their own right. Deal with kills health, must be political. Deal with some of the root causes, some of the alternative must be found. The marketplace for rates, so much that they think you grow surrounding health care. The growth that is just enforced out of the value sets of the public community values. Return to the system through the people's social education to address health. Do you recognize they be realized? Neo liberal approaches to health lock in inequality, poverty, and ecological. Immediate and structural balance McCoy and seventy ten dollars a day, seventy one percent of all the all of this line of property has been uh, growing the equal distribution of all the property creates the base of demographic structure should be captured by the low leads of more critical structure and critical critical percentage of the prerequisites individually. How about these commission ecosystem collapse and micro room resistance going level some outside of common present existential time to be many, many of lobby on our free share of clients can ask for ecological media and structural balance to the prospect for future generation having hundreds of millions. They you hold this really just sustainable across modern knowledge based and skills of the global health inclusive but are taking a local dimension deal over the years and working on models of to systemic change, but change will only curve shaping to provide events with God that failure to provide universal health insurance. Results in racial racialized class and gender death gap based on something we can trace. The growth of uninsured with the death gaps between the rich poor, black and white, the activists will teach by those controlling the economic powers of the ability to rest in the nature of expectations, not just the continue to monster the quality of perpetuating by the actions of the powerful to reverse themselves at the expense of others' new quality. It's hard right into our health care, what is the cause of death uninsured black and white, you know what poor, we're excluded from accessing the best treatments many. Some are not early because life saving treatments are available just as the shirt beyond the reach, premature illness and death are exacted by the uninsured, the tragic configuration of repair services, and high rates of uninsured leave hospitals and continual access to natural funds that you Americans of health. One for those with insurance and money, another for core uninsured to dispossess like the emergency community, the high degrees of hardship. Life expectancy is closer to developing countries with disease and life expectancy gaps are not notable or immutable practical policy and community building solutions are uh, eliminate these inequalities, trouble with gut health care, and intensify suffering for the millions who lose insurance. That creates the opening for single payer, which can solve the insurance cliff chain and something the AC and the insurance of the health crisis by plunging markets of patients in the free marketplace that makes survival more heavily costly. The AC excludes millions, including immigrants in the poor price, sponsored to defund public health programs that contribute to two health care crisis. The AC is free marketplace on the other side. The insurance company compared to the last of our democratic universal solution to reduce crisis could become an unforeseen opportunity. The trauma of Obama is talking with the Bureau of Republican Privatization by Supermass Movement, pursuing work providing equal access. Facing the global of unsustainable system, there's an avenue for addressing the fundamentals. Thus, the United States federal government should establish a comprehensive national health program. Only that solves the death gap and solves the struggle for the flaws in the ECA. Could be solved by single payer because Medicaid was flawed. The state of millions of insured, the state covered over half of poor uninsured lives. Single about this, and the working with centuries structural rates and premiums compared to deductibles are very really high. That comes to the lake or other single payer. There will be no companies that are not willing to without the development of good buy-in. Go without messages. Go without vets or situations common amongst the working poor. There is a racial and ethnic gap in coverage. Medicare for all, which is truly universal care. Affordability, equity, cost control, by place and power to share with the single amount of property agency. The U.S. would save four hundred million dollars by being what would be slash rates would be. Redirected to clinical care, single system, whatever. Rating costs of medicine, the bargaining cloud, profits to create an equitable system of care that will provide equal access to rich, poor, black, and white. Life expectancy gaps with narrow hospitals with certain poor communities that can access capital investment have done in other countries. It can be done in the U.S. single care with standards that are conscious to incremental reform purposes because they want too many separate jobs because they have life insurance. The F creates non neoliberal care that eliminates profit and from health. Watson in 2016 is a non neoliberal model. Single care and it's really medical for all the country close payments and distributes. Plus, you provide us coverage for universal for all services, including medication, long term care. There would be no premiums, copy events, or deductibles. Any few would not permit private insurance. It would eliminate multiple tiers of care for profit. Facility would be prohibited. 95% would be less the insurance financial sector would lose a major. Of capital accumulation, other businesses would experience civilization reduction costs. The AF displaces neoliberal approaches to health with a social solution proven by successful examples across Latin America. Data. 
A15, Light of Vigor, Social Medicine, Challenge, Capital, Organization, Instruction, Central, Church, Transform, Health, Social Medicine, Connect, Health, Truth, Plus, Social, Change, Activism, Gender, Transforming, Indigo, Conditions, Emphasize, Product, Conditions, Research, Consolidation, The Elegate, Individual, Smile, Social, Social, Health, Existence, and Dialectical, Relationship, Partializing, Political, Participation, Intervention, Social Medicine, Punch, Transforming, The Underlying Relationship, Protection, Dominant, Favor, Is Integral, Growth, This Question, The Innovation, Chile, Cuba, Mexico, Bolivia, Venezuela, Effort, Insights, About the Alternative Organization, The Seed, Purdue, The Entire Shared, Human, Demonstrate, The Effectiveness, Effort, System, Committed, To Address, Instructive, Determinants of Health, The Bargain, Determined, We Connect, The Community, Solution, The Infrastructure, The Alternative, The Neoliberal, Narrative, Ground, Concrete, Politics, and Popular Participation, Fundamental Policy Changes, Necessary to Reduce Health Inequality, Only Addressing the Approximate Causes Can Make Root Cause, Analysis, Effective, Scott, Same, Most, Health, Health, and Quality, Series, Made, and Long-Term, Negative, Impact, These Causes, Versus, The Material, Social, Effective, Social, Property, Poor, Housing, and Social, Exclusion, The Inequality, Only Reduce, As a Result of Fundamental Policy Change, The Quality, The Product, Community, Quality, Powers, The Same, Long-Term, Reductions, Are, Dependent, The Strategy, The Engagement, The Root Cause, Versus, Medical, Quality, Provide, The Justification, Policy, Action, Differences, And Health, The Precision, Cross, Centering, One, Choose, Very, Immediately, Price, More, Cause, People, And Poor, Circumstances, The Deputy, Material, Human, Terminal, Policies, Have, Note, Invite, The Capital, Society, Where, Liberal, Mac, Under, Policies, Position, All, Economic, Activities, Benefits, The Name, Built, And Subject, To Blame, The Bigger, Method, Temporal, Core, Grant, Economic, Cause, If We Accept, The Alternative, Premium, To Be, Health, And Quality, Good, To Be, On Analysis, About Things, Clearly, To Consider, How Things Could Be, The Demand for Single Payer is a non reformist reform that builds solidarity and paves the way for challenges to state power. Dave Brown, in 1794, we can build solidarity and power for the working class. Everybody needs health care daily. What have been her property trades? We've been selling interest in six weeks. We can only win single bar. First off, we win it for each other. The fighters energy names are very strong. The uninsured rate is 60% higher for black people. The black cost of our remains a universal system. The team of that uninsured rate is 300% higher. Documented immigrants are not covered. Just the fact that immigrants pay taxes to universal workers can demonstrate that social care is not a serious game. We push really towards building power for multi racial working class movement. The inclusion of immigrants is essential. Single bar is a critical company. Single care costs more for women. It's hard to change. Employers can increase. Conscious of single bar will be a win for the working class. Like no other property bills. Follow our two Future shock is by winning reform that's changing the material condition of the the framework more radical, but you're seeing fire work than health with bargaining pieces rather than a season on reformers reform that only the ability of people to fight more radically shifting the political possibility. The universal program is essential to eliminate wealth and equality, create stronger working class, as easy as what the building power will be considered that dedicated to defending public and universal program function that ends all solidarity to make it insurance universally guaranteed to serve that coverage the right bill, stronger body politics that can mobilize and protect that right. That solidarity is a form of the successful legacy of black resistance, which reinvigorates struggles against Trump. The future is not predetermined movements can build effective resistance, tailoring something in Russian shapes all lies in most people when compared to Russia's show policy, we make life substantially harder than the attack immigrants and the invitation of release to continue their assaults of black and brown community trauma spreading about sexually assaulting women is covered in color war muscles we've seen a rival the white supremacist right but it's entered to the extent which will be able to fall through this country based on calculation that our ability to move movements of the agenda is organized possible is oh, exists only when we recognize the academy's side of politics and struggle but you've seen the firing campus struggles whether or not we see the political space the right wing certainly does there is a need to connect the life savers and struggle and transformation with the new generation students just really looking for hope that future is not already determined we already see the erosion of mass struggle and they'll occupy a view of the trouble demand more the moral larger crisis journey creates a political and intellectual space for debate politics and ideas matter just as much as ideas and actions and access that should be viewed about disagreements but we should be clear about differences, just so we should be clear about what is agreed upon in the basis of why we should get any natural goals that easily achieve with the atmosphere of defeat, not only just political establishment, but abundance of voice of black liberation of the period of the legacy. Christian policy of the movement of black struggles are examples of how the margins can up and destabilize the supposed sentiment. The movement is coming from platform while the liberation struggles is called for already to now the base of creeping over to an experience of solidarity is recognition that our race are connected and the injured and one is injured all in another world is truly possible only through struggle for a social health perspective enables broad coalitions to achieve equality of life on the 16 despite divergences. All our advocates social justice and global health and politics of gender, class, gender, race, ethnicity, and migrant outcomes are contextually specific and the level to recognize the capital as we do the research and rationalize the cost of normalcy the concept of health risk we concentrate health care is an area but that's what we push Cost the alternative to the neoliberal because it begins with the social cost of health. The communities play a greater role in the health system. Social accountability can be greater through research. Part of the question of social need to more probability. Expensive treatments can be reduced. Cuba system inspired the radical interest in social health, addressing the social issues requires a broadening of the local basis of the coalition to find common ground with the working the group groups working against generational discrimination, migrant size, uh, land rights, better working conditions, collective power, built through the struggle made by coalitions for national health policies affecting the gender multilateral institutions such as the WHO policy can challenge the structural premise of the current health consensus. Can you read the green? Yeah. If the left fails to push for single pair, the right will co opt the working class to spend fascism created in 17. We cannot simply react to Trump by advancing a clear program can mobilize a huge other public investable worker against the power the demand for Medicare for all means of built to solidarity. So far, I said, like, universal care is a critical component of the struggle of an equitable society and that unifies a far right over disease and being able to overture the political rights now. And all of our people, we cannot allow to push for care to be used to get with for fascism. Part of the single class supremacy must be tied to political programs by opportunities to talk about ways in which white class warfare, gender, racial discrimination, which everyone every day by challenging narratives and the glee that the concrete demands we can reach out to people who are godless. But might not know what could be done necessary for improving political conditions in the near future, which have been done before. Or just over the change of struggle to expand the public most but to the far right, effective, not effective, left push our little concerns over launcher planning and organizing. Yeah, I uh, the VA system proves single pair solves racial inequalities that exist within the health system. Gaffney in 16 reducing universalism system, we've learned an important role in reducing inequalities, economic reduction, change to look against racial inequalities, crucial considerations of these social statistical associations, major lack of insurance mortality, removing the boundaries, critical step towards health equality, the coverage of the, the these excluded billions, these critical cost sharing, disproportionate harm minorities, which are universal clear combat racial inequalities or public and current prices and inequalities, even if these biases versus universal system might nonetheless be powerful tool in reducing racial inequalities. The evidence comes with a quasi single pair system in the VA delivering high quality health care. Uh, they may even potentially eliminate some racial inequalities in the VHA as a system that is not opposed to Experience that disproportionately in the population, the population, the population, the
Well, what's the reason to vote affirmative? Uh, because we think a comprehensive national health program has the ability to resolve death gaps that are coming in the status quo, 65,000. Okay, so do you get to win, do you need to win that the AF extends a positive solidarity towards those move, towards existing movements and that existing movements for single payer are good or do you need to win that like just single payer is good? Our argument, well, the affirmative is informed by both of those questions. Our argument is that the affirmative Sort Can of you provide lose the on mechanism. one if not the other? If what? your movement towards a movement of single payer isn't good, do you think you should win? What do you mean our we movement towards our movement of single payer? So you affirm solidarity, quote unquote, with existing racism, homophobia, sex, like a bunch of shit, and then you say that that all of that shit should unify under single payer. I'm curious if we win that your, you know, solidarity with said movement is bad. If you think you should still win, if single payer is good. That the solidarity arguments are an advantage to the app. So if you disprove that solidarity, if you prove that solidarity is bad, it's like a turn to the app, right? But like it's still an advantage. So like we can win on single, we can win on a single pair good ballot alone. Okay. So for advantage. example, like you need to win the reason why the solidarity that the affirmative produces may be bad would outweigh also the benefit of yeah. reducing the death gap and democratizing health. It's kind or of telling a lot of reasons why place. solidarity, the solidarity bad arguments prove that we don't access those impacts, for example. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I guess let's talk about the if the fail um, if the left fails to push for racial discrimination. I mean, for single payer, bad things happen. I guess like who c is a part of the left? Uh, well, so the way our evidence defines the left is like I suppose people who are pursuing more egalitarian politics that are universal and equitable between and amongst all people. And so I suppose when why if like left, certain people are disadvantaged, the should they party. use a universal strategy? Sorry. If some people are structurally disadvantaged, then why use a universal strategy? So I think that universal is the wrong word, but I think that the idea and frame of common goals is good. So there can be different and individual routes for different people within a coalition. So we don't all have the same relationship and strategies towards Yeah, healthcare. exactly. Like we, we were all goal in it. Like, like black people were anti-Trump. You're like, right. uh, obviously, Clinton supporters were anti-Trump. I guess, like, where, why should we begin at the common ground instead of beginning from the perspective of just, like, I mean, at what point in our, your movement well, so, so do you get confronted not, with the places where you violently disagree? So our argument is not that we begin from a common ground. It's that we have a common goal, right? So that's it's different. No, I, I, I agree. So I'm saying like common ground equal beat he man at this tournament. Common ground might be common. I mean, common goal might be that, but like the means through which we are different. Do you not think that those matter? Those well, differences do, do matter. That's the whole point of our social health. Right. Argument. So is it real? So if I'm like, I also need to destroy you. Uh, where where do you come into play? I guess in that perspective, like where's our coalition? If I'm like, yes, we have a common goal of if, destroying if, he man, but I must destroy you too. That's a false analogy because healthcare I mean, is it's not, not. does not operate in the same way. Literally. It's not. Not it's not it's to health through the lens of inequalities, anti-black, white, washing your gratuitous violence to make black violence much more abroke, 16 human disinterest of black life keeps striking the spectacularization of black suffering and death, a certain pattern of black absence, black hypervisibility, and the factor in the factor of anti-black is the theoretical absorption of black suffering into an object with other disadvantaged group, uh, constituencies, blatantly disregarded the large party of epistemic work pointing towards the impossibility of that analogy of violence against blackness to not be conceptualized as transgression, but as the premise of human functioning, including the struggle around rights and the basic material guarantees of access to public health, the active indifference is being mobilizing the world over again and again by the leftist framework of inequality, it's uh, differentiation across human skill created significant signification, which keep analysis tied to the question of human society's contingencies of class reproduction of obscuring the social non existence of black life. And the 118 makes black feminist scholars for fungible change. Black femme scholars for theorizing resistance. Uncle 16, Blue Blast Hellwitches, bring to the forefront the insistent framework that this is about black articulation and suffering at the same time and positive new revolutionary subjectivity that is in theory more dynamic than black is black homophobia is. Wait to the conceptual maneuver and arguing black feminists is about futurity. There's supposed to reliance on identity, cutting out, being and becoming to push rethinking intersectionality demonstrates there is the 
problem with this podcast. Subject theories is unreal. Any focus on objective power use. <laughs> black bodies is objective proof. Must be <laughs> Theories of objectification and black theory. Blackness is structural dissociation and non-being presuming <laughs> that it's an identity or category of difference is violence that <laughs> conceals the singular relationship. <laughs> to slavery by the Deco 1600. Uh, <laughs> Limited to man blackness and number of people. It's all in genre. This the nexus of violence that <laughs> engenders black people bodies. bodies. Uh, dissociation blackness must be <laughs> theorized as class gender sexuality is supposed to <laughs> and everything black is through class gender sexuality is totalized and violence that determines difference the same as through <laughs> slavery singular reason described under blackness that <laughs> minimizes the violence delivered to charm or discourse only manifests itself through the violent relation that produces blackness <laughs> and structural violence in <laughs> relation to every mode of being used for an analytic functionality of <laughs> labor and neoliberalism analyzing blackness through labor results in liberal discourse of inclusion in the civil society King 14 <laughs> but <laughs> labor may cut out black functionality is considered for essentially <laughs> difficult one turn out uh, trying to consider what the the, the, the unique location of blackness labor <laughs> becomes the liberal discourse that allows immigrants to narrate their belonging labor functions as <laughs> another discourse of inclusion slavery can never be a status for blackness the <laughs> homeless of slavery not are the exploitation and alienation but accumulation of a bunch of black labor is just <laughs> one kind of use within a violent and infinite repertoire practice to make much <laughs> less fungible than the black bodies uh, figure to metaphorical value that <laughs> extends into the symbolic figure of capacity blackness <laughs> where magic black, uh, blackness re- uh, requires we rethink these limits of the orthodox of the family much much of beyond labor to reject their stance of people of color blindness and <laughs> favor theorizing a black non black by not for 13 or uh, long <laughs> for non blacks or just the whole blackness for every much myth <laughs> uh, the mythical shared by an African pessimist and I'm sure the <laughs> singular uh, singularity of virtual labor is the basis of the black <laughs> racial antagonism between blacks and non blacks and for <laughs> interracial coalition is just one area of is <laughs> black uh, radicalism the other side of racial hierarchy is structural <laughs> black non black divides assuming an order <laughs> the general press status of years black suffering engagement of people of color blindness I'm sure how <laughs> domestic racism and imperialism are trying to open new limits what is essential <laughs> but the situation black existence not represent the total reality of the racial formation but <laughs> it does relate to that totality the apps empathy relies on <laughs> quotidian violence to erase structural difference and create commonality that was <laughs> quite partly proven across the term in 87 Reagan curve for under the horse of slavery to spectacle and see that these projects in one cell under another and murder better than the other by exploiting the vulnerability of the bodies of us with these thoughts and feelings of the others that humanity expended up this living and running for the expectation desires to defend the defendant of the relation to chattel slavery that this scene of breathing readily lends itself to the identification of the enslaved is just another risk of fixing the naturalizing the condition of pain and body and it increases the difficulty of beholding by suffering just the endeavor to bring pain close to the spectacle of body and pain suffering your shape us because it can only be brought where a nearby way of proxy there <laughs> Infatuation with materialism and radical leftism uh, prioritizes becoming over blackness, which <laughs> is anti-black corner sharp and Leon to see the new materialism system. <laughs> Most humanist matter, matter always in the process of becoming the <laughs> very aspects that will make matter more real than language or culture respect the <laughs> ethical potential of the soul to consensual uh, rejection of race and circumvent the <laughs> tension between universal theory and <laughs> expand the specific inquiry chance to send your to the creativity of prioritize the work <laughs> assembled just to conceal the, uh, the global the experience of living under the condition of Christ that fetishes the expense <laughs> of addressing these conditions of uh, the imperative to live with the open wood <laughs> through a sort of depersonalization of the event not only deep blood has claims of <laughs> historically oppressed communities, but also blindness is issued between traumas <laughs> inflicted through habits and persistent intergenerational harm it becomes <laughs> difficult to reconcile and determine with endurance or repetition and by violence the <laughs> threshold of global anti-blackness can continue to function poor trophic service capacity from <laughs> blackness, which is the reason why the prestige of the one I see is bad independent <laughs> of the consequences of the political hell yet. <laughs> Fourteen born trophic views of remainder of the uh, remainder of law <laughs> and violence when linguistic blue stage in the seventeen uh, sexual decision, brutal decision, living most upon trophic games, <laughs> love becoming close to the white body and to bear life expectations of <laughs> slow property or intelligence as the innate capacities and <laughs> the inner feelings of the uh, 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 interviews with this love and description of enjoyment that <laughs> African violence have become <laughs> synonymous with surplus pleasure. The our alternative is to reject the app in order to focus <laughs> on an unflinching paradigmatic analysis the cost of the end of America will listen to NBC. How such an unflinching paradigmatic analysis is completely different from the existing order than the neoliberal government has been. <laughs> the, the radical element, uh, elements of the church movement may work to coordinate both their own elements while the moderates need to uh, defeat the fire of the world gender predicate on unflinching <laughs> paradigmatic analysis where uh, we allow our energy to displace <laughs> on a pound of paradigmatic considerations. There's not a grammar that explains black suffering. Play focus is a smokestream that distracts from violence <laughs> in the quotidian sex and freedom. <laughs> this proceeded on to watch movement more about a question what does it mean to suffer black and old children too much posturing about plans of anything <laughs> we have a surplus of plans but not have a language that had a good large ego's barriers of commonality of opposition suffering <laughs> has made blasphemous person you literally proper illumination can be not speak of a distraction part of response <laughs> to a golf tournament in the season one day in the quotidian diffusion of terror before being out that <laughs> black species of the wrong argument that they are <laughs> is left from building arguments in the first place part from <laughs> who have included groups what does it mean to suffer this challenge of giving expression to the inexpressible the role of the ballot is to surrender to blackness radio and morale of 14 surrender <laughs> to blackness is commanded to the level of foundation of thought being a <laughs> there's any hope of revolution practice must have blackness and blackness is you learn to know who will enforce me. You can understand why the means of blackness is high general feathering the big concept of the whole life of the people force black death coalition while those are fetish as the fetish and as the necessary recognition of anti blackness the coalition's heart we open to form on the distinction between fetish and the absolute importance of the imperative is that fetish and the fetish and the object you must surrender to blackness identifying instances of black social life doesn't disprove structural predisposition of civil society to black death sectional life and Gordon's engagement with when not finds himself situated in an ethical affirmation yet what Gordon's having the Gordon reduces the value of the non-evil is the definition of the selfless path Logical affirmation is a refusal to distance oneself from blackness and valorization of health. Life versus the out of the zero degree transformation is the term for blackness and embrace with 
evidence on the critique is about the non-black black binary, which should we default to? What, and what why is it okay to King? The uh, Irwin evidence, and yeah. it was also in like... I, oh, so yes, I think, evidence. so uh, black non-black binary is what we ought to refer to. We so are reading evidence read a card that had the opposite. Because that's your advantage, so we read in... No, it's a card about your how white people alienate people of color in movies, you, which is Your F is about people of right. color. We read a turn to your F. Uh, right, okay. and, and, and also that still makes sense. You say white people co-opt rhetoric of people of color, aka the yeah. structure of whiteness is fucked up. Doesn't um, mean that there's not a okay. reason why we should begin at whiteness so that those POC don't result well, in the an, F. Will there some right? hard, uh, can an unflinching paradigmatic analysis result in a comprehensive national health program? No. Okay, the Nopper card talking about a uh, stance of colorblindness. How does this link to the app when our social health arguments say that people of different races, classes, ethnicities, etc., experience health disparities in different ways? How do we presume that they all experience it the same way? The Nopper card is about the way in which you theorize kind of people of color and that rhetoric. Our argument is that well, yeah, race might exist differentially, but it's based on a structure of anti blackness that gives meaning to those signifiers of race. 10. Uh, 
answers their argument on the VA system because their argument is just about selection bias, which is wrong in this case because it would underestimate because there are more people of color than in the uh, in the military than not. This did to Scott Samuels Evans is a delay descent to uh, the alternative, which which means that it's try or die for the app because otherwise they're uh, because there's a time in the interim where uh, we tried to reform systems that exist from an individual basis that uh, mean that people will die. They've conceded a spillover claim internationally and to other domestic policies because uh, single payer is a rallying point that uh, is a rallying point that allows people to address other problems through our social health perspective, i.e. housing, food, uh, food and, uh, and prison reform. All of those are things that can result from the affirmative and they've conceded an international spillover argument about how uh, movements from the United States can inspire changes in other countries to reform models, which means that all of their arguments about like Canada, the UK, or other countries that have single payer that are increasingly being privatized in the status quo are things that can change the results of the affirmative. They say that socials are there are social predeterminants to help the app to be able to resolve those things, which was described about they say that we criminalize unproductivity. That is not true. This is about ignoring structural differences, which is not the app and is explicitly the opposite because uh, the app is about understanding that there are different routes towards healthcare and that there are structural differences that make our approach to healthcare uh, different. They say that we don't solve neoliberalism in healthcare. Yes, we do. That was the uh, international and spillover arguments that I made above. They say movements are doing fine now and the app is not inherent. Actually, the one AC has two uh, different pieces of evidence about how single pair is a specific rallying point that uh, allows movements to come together, which means that specifically the common goal of single pair is uniquely key and that the uh, proposition of the app is important. They say that the, the, those movements become racist. The green evidence perturbs this argument and indicates that uh, if we do not engage in that kind of solidarity building from different starting points toward common goals, then the right wing uh, will create, will create things like Paul Ryan's uh, health care plan. They say deportation. This is impossible because uh, people are not allowed to ask for, for citizenship status when uh, you go to the doctor. It's also solved by the social health arguments because Latinx populations will relate towards health care differently, which changes the way that policy operates when the single payer is created. The VA argument answered about the map. You evidence is the equivalent of the base dissent against a policy affirmative and should be rejected on face because we should not uh, default to the reactions of the alt-right when we make policy decisions. That's everything there. The critique. Uh, first is framework. If women, the normative implementation of the affirmative is a good idea, then you should vote out prioritizing evaluation of scholarship is arbitrary and ensures judge intervention there. Framework is unfair and soul serving is also the most logical. Even if you reject our framing, there are still reasons for enacting the plain policy. Reciprocity means they have to defend the alternative and floating picks are going to issue. Actually, they said they, they couldn't result in a permutation to do both. The Taylor evidence is a uh, net, benefit to, uh, net benefit to our politics and our framework because it's a reason why uh, we spill outside of the debate we st outside of the debate round by uh, understanding the way that policy change happens so that we can uh, effectuate the most equitable change outside of debate. They say uh, the broke evidence, the broke evidence, the death gaps frame is a good way to, uh, or is a good way to frame debate. The more of this we've done, other partners shaping debate. The, du the Douglas evidence about shaping resistance. This is not true. Resistance uh, shapes dominance, not the other way around. And framing it as such is uh, as is actively bad because it makes effective resistance impossible. The app is that form of resistance, which I'll prove later. The, 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 the next piece of evidence, blackness, is not ontological. Afro pessimism is a dangerous form of moralism that conflates the anti-black racist project with its achievement, which ignores the history of successful movements. One attempt to the anti-black moral not identical with the world. Just I need to block projects that need achievement. If people know their friends, watch them continue to fight to see the bailout. Movement of many others applies to the social and their rhetoric. And the flesh is still blown. The fight is corrupt. Just reform the contradictions. Law knows and they have to make case for their dialogue. Law knows. Even if we should get you contradicted, they are perfect. And the human being has to know. So the man who falls inside is the true proprietor. But it's actually a false future. Light rays and digital conditions come out of the future. I'm just casting the spell of gold. Meaning the session of the shaking central paradigm. Maybe the actual maker of the flesh is like a map from Zach's versus escapes. And they're never sure the quality of its ability. Plenty is more waiting for them to eliminate. And hope they just have to set the culture of the present. Trouble to the upper person to suffer from. I feel like I'm just like really just going to run out of the finance function. I'm just going to build on these digitally working Human is part of the largest nation of the 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 uh, demands a political solution. They say uh, the king evidence. That's not the app. The app does not create a chain of equivalency of uh, different kinds of violence, which is the link to this evidence. There's also the app does not say the capitalist has overarching explanatory part. Just that it is a proximate cause or a way that that uh, violence operates, which means that there's just no link to this argument. They say uh, colorblindness. That's not up. Uh, that was kind of kind of done in crosses, but different tracks are able to work, which is why our social health perspective is, is uniquely key. In Latin America proves that those movements can uh, be successful. They say that we erase difference. That's still not us. Multiracial and cross class alliances are key to effectuate change. Tailors up to the cover of the different perspectives. That they are trying to organize whatever they're determined to be able to make the most effective way to organize. I heard the pieces about which we've said are resembled to racial organizers have to be part of the discussion. The basic issue matter when people get from the Oliver and Wiggins, we black people not great. No one is supportive. Recognize the most racial thing that we've been able to find. It's cultural. They're going to build a house. We've managed to get that transformation based on cyclical ideas and progressive changes. Ideas are starting to work together. 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 Ideas are starting to work
partic all particular relations, the static immutable course relations are always uh, subject to change and working towards even a partial empathy is better than opting out. Going to 17, we'll just see what is the to drive racial identity or get anchored in the presence of the understanding. There are these problems that the chickens are dropping their groups are trade on social understanding that encourage personal understanding. Normally, the difference between social and social level black and anti-gold are the equivalent of deficit rate. Largely, the empathy is equally important as far as not true. You may be trying to not understand the implication of people understanding understanding that the margin happens all the time. Only black members on the margin understand what those of the same anti-gold have to get attention. They're completely not understanding the situation. They're not going to learn the idea that we can't do is an excuse. After any political political and ethical relationship, but the relationship are always something to be chosen for two relations are supposed to do something or somewhere just to be stunted constantly in various ways. By these relations, the relation hard to see ourselves and others entangled up with the other possible the relation or hard to something is that we must work to translate them for the better. Permutation solves this. That's calling attention how representations reinforce oppression is commensurate with action to be intense for that balance. The Wilderson evidence all do are all are all offense here. Really resuscitating humanist anti colonial thought of African and diasporic philosophies. Philosophy is key to human survival. Their strategy of embracing the Eurocentric conception of blackness while condoning off academic work of affirmative media worldly concerns risk misreads the histories of successful struggles. Well, uh, in 17, the world seems profoundly broken. Decades, uh, de uh, decades of an endemic financial crisis, technical real versus the first of life, military difficulties, such a magnitude of money. Why do men in order to say that, of course, half the, world, half the world's population are caught in the Gulf of the region, and 100 million of refugees from serious conflict to those who have endemic political crisis and endemic difficulties are the woefully inadequate in history. The visible world's most meaningful kind of such truth and demonstrate the reason that the human population is the creating the in the face of the historical movement that seems to be doing a reduced year to be pretty more hyped up by the lampers in the end of the 20th century. Uh, struggles against colonial society seem to assert that the FFOC are poetic, asserting that the three are really immediately practical. There's already a timely statement made with urgency that the original life chart that the new hours is much to justify the colonial states of Africa to find legion rest beyond the thinkers and understood complex and intellectual because it looks possible that as a gate to the whole celebrity of water humanity and the nation they mentioned over the world that built to open the possibility for Africa's nation to plant your salvation human emancipation of the blackness of the universal and the reduced human to racial sort of society that the savage exotic exteriority that always exists alongside the blackness of the blackness articulation of blackness the long history of rational refusal to train humanity makes it possible to impossibility of restitution of whatever horizons are going to be to the fundamental question so we have to fully become to the fold that has come to all of us as this time attention to temporality the less of how to become more valuable because the future becomes more open market future becomes more open they say that there's no Grammar to explain suffering. Then, then how, how do we know when violence is on the quotidian? How do we know uh, how we should relate to it? How do we theorize solutions? These are all dissents to the alternative or reasons why uh, the, 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 the idea that there's no grammar to explain suffering or that we should reject everything that attempts to uh, resolve those things is actively bad. Their surrender arguments today are bad. Surrendering to blackness just replicates the problem of white altruism that have historically replicated colonial power relations. Only solidarity focused movement building to secure universal rights provides the basis for collective uh, action necessary to solve Irish and 18 dominant little of the uh, white difference white nature in the research emphasis. I saw that white people set their own side. They self interpreted the same kind of students, lost sports, and waver, light, never label, shake, late, now, race, specific, the non-race, determine all these numbers are from the defense of a woefully not a great response to danger, systemic race, and the worst elsewhere, and the white elsewhere, and the rest of the people, and the white people, and obligation, held the black and new state, and the here, along the prevailing currents of the capitalist white people, and the allies, and other progress, and the field to address race and power relations, they transform dominance, all truths, and good of these are white, and it's the only one thing that can't solidarity when people come in, and they're just liberation, rather than liberation, they're going to achieve all the baseball, right? And race, and the other producing the colonial, and the office of generic battles, and the other world, and settled in the paranoid of eternity, solidarity, and pursuit, everything, really, which have to wipe the project, and make free, and reverse, and anti-wish, and white people to say the privilege that they spend whole to be divided human rights calling the privilege under rights that they can universally respect the baseline matters to determine here as a privilege institution to baseline but to work together the baseline should never accept so that the privilege of we are forming the right way idea that we have national of nothing in the uh, universal rights induces a field theory that inspires actions fostering the solidarity of the practice of the worst the organizing of the activity of quality health care the uh, last evidence we frame it the opposite way that you should frame things the opposite way they have made a totalized claim about the world and you have to disprove every example we give i.e. if we can prove that the VA helped in some degree that means that you should default to our frame um, not any example that they give Okay, uh, you get. Uh, once. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, so I want to start on the case. Mm -hmm. What is the process by which the plan spills over to international single payer reform? Uh, so that's the O'Loughlin part. It's very specific about how single payer in the United States or a socialist healthcare reform in the U.S. is a way that it can spill over internationally because people use the United States as a model, or that when there are perceived radical changes okay. in the United States, if that people that's going use to the United radical States, radical change other places. What's up? If people use the United States as a model, why do other countries have single payer when we don't? Yeah, so that's that's a good question, but I think that it's kind of. It's, it's wrong. The premise of it is wrong because other countries don't really have the single payer that the AF would have. So, like, the Canada well, example... Well, so, but that doesn't, yeah, so that doesn't totally question, matter. So why is why would they only model well, more progressive? your question is, other countries have single payer. No, they don't. Or not the AF's version of single payer. Well, but, because, so the premise okay. of your question is wrong. Well, okay, let me ask you a slightly different, but basically the same question. Why don't other countries have the same system of healthcare the U.S. has? Because there are increasingly profit-based demands that are causing countries to increasingly privatize their systems, like in Canada and the UK, which are the two examples that I would presume you're talking about, those systems are increasingly privatizing. Our argument is that if we move away from those neoliberal which, forms of healthcare which and countries, reject the idea that those could which, ever be which productive... Which countries need to adopt single payer to prevent extinction from neoliberalism? Uh, well, we think that if we solve that the United States... We think that if the U.S. Just implements the US. A single payer, then that we're able to solve warming. It's on the onus we're on the able, that okay. that's impossible. Uh, uh, 
What piece of evidence do you think says anything close to that? It said the McCoy evidence, and all the McCoy evidence describes how neoliberal approaches to health lock in inequality and poverty. Uh, our argument is that if we change those neoliberal approaches to health, that that is able to spill over. It talks about all of our international global global poverty over. rates, mm -hmm. uh, unequal distribution created by global democratic structures, uh, AMR that could happen anywhere. Why is the U.S. sufficient to solve? global warming by adopting single-payer health care. So I think a good line from this piece of evidence, for example, is health includes an understanding of political dimensions of neoliberal theories. So that's an example of how health specifically is tied to all of those other Sure, but, but which countries need to adopt a kind of a different model of health to well, solve this? If your argument is about like an internal link to warming, for example, yes, it like is. we think that if the U.S. adopts a single-payer and is able to effectively change our climate policies, that we could solve it. If your argument is that like China's okay. an old cause or something like that, then that's where international spillover arguments kick in. Okay, what piece of evidence do you have that says like China or India follow on U.S. healthcare? Uh, that's the O'Loughlin evidence. It doesn't say the like it's not about. Okay, China's what, specific actually, country. which countries is it about? The O'Loughlin card is not about specific countries. It's okay. about the way that what other empirical the example States. does it give of countries following on? What or what indication does it we give the countries? We haven't forward? implemented a leftist healthcare regime. So why would they only follow on to U.S. leftism? Well, because that's what this piece of evidence is about. It's about having social justice within global health and adopting non- If they already know they want to be leftist, why are they looking to the United States? The argument is that it empowers other social movements that are taking place in other countries that creates pressure on the government to implement the exact same health system that we have in the United States after the plan. Exactly. Do we have time for Instagram? So there are just a bunch of spaces where these cards are marked, but it's sad right now. Thank you.
about it as you go. The baby does know me. She can't do it. Yeah. Did you ask me at uh, McDonald's or did you just go? Sorry for the crisis. Blackness is derelict in order to render itself coherent, relying on black is a negative standard which can remove everyone else's identity, can trust a coherence in non-black bodies, the civil society can only be maintained through forever distinguishing subjectivity from blackness, non-blacks maintain their sense of identity by clarifying themselves as not dangerous, not deviant, not deviant, or as criminal, as dangerous, as deviant, these discourse only reifying remain parasitic upon the black body is derelict, container for de-trustness, deviality, criminality, contingent of thunderability of blackness is a negative standard of identity, blackness is thus situated in double condition, the presence of black bodies is required within civil society in order to ensure the legibility of civil society and non-black identity, yet those bodies must be continually rendered dear like reduced to flashback or as violence to maintain their status as low to tone points so that others may gain a sense of social life and ontological capacity and contrast. This produces a condition of social life, the forced inclusion of black bodies in civil society through regulation, policing, and surveillance and simultaneous exercises of violence against them in forms of lynching and rape via alternatives on flinching paradigmatic analysis in the context of the one and see that means endorsing uh, effective pessimism, the, uh, the, the negative will not be as engaging emotion Strong or as interesting as the one you see, that's good. Voting negative means to accepting disappointment and failure rather than attempting to stir the audience and refuse to evoke pathos or produce sentimentality and stand in position ourselves is hard to watch but impossible to turn away from. Only the negative refuses racialized new liberalism's demand for compulsory, uh, compulsory reassurance, pleasantness, and sentiment by refusing to repair, uh, blah, repair, refusing to repair blindness, rejecting the recognition of subjectivity via performance of affect or uh, relationships of solidarity towards movements. Again, go to the framework where we like Extend the sex and evidence plan focus to itself with the developing a grammar suffering debates over single pair are inevitable. It's the only topical affirmative that means that this debate should not be about the grammars that are utilized to uh, the, 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 I mean the grammars that are utilized to rationalize that policy. If we win their advocacy of single pair is just impo is impossible to disarticulate from anti blackness, it's sufficient reason to reject the one you see the one you see porn trips are flesh within the symbolic economy of debate for about this is unique lengthy, only enemy black flesh in front of black people for the enjoyment of black flesh or their arguments about necessity of debating the uh, the nitty gritty portions of single fair or false flat because even when given the speci uh, because that specificity only breaches in the direction of blackness that means they reintroduce trauma for activators by forcing black death in these debates plan focus trades off of the development of uh, developing a grammar of suffering debates over single pair are never that was above but this the if we win an impact turn well like the logic of you say no pig henceforth no sell the app that'll be a large portion of the one in R because like single payers coming now and the way that we rationalize and the rhetoric surrounding those policies is what's important for. Therefore, new forwarding of fairness is intrinsic. It is an appeal to an enemy that relies on judges to fill in their own desires for debate as a white fantasy space that's foolish to name. Fair play is a white person's safety zone. Rules apply to everyone away being in the world that legitimizes institutional practice. We are fair and balanced and uh, odious derivations where we are the police force of skills and reproducing concepts like fairness, money, stability, reform, while presenting and setting the best of all possible intentions, fire, importance, conflicts, over which institutional reform is better than the other one provides most free because white people love their institution, every black or brown body that doesn't love the things you love is a threat to threat to your fantasy states that you're right. Your terrain is your pleasure. White people are guilty of structured debates where reproduce the institution. Institution reproduces America's supply. But it's incorporated in our provided their teeth We won't entertain the rigor which is our fantasy say the terms that suit your discussion the white and time on somewhere a team is, uh, is going to San Quentin for graffiti and you're trying to be fair promoting the uh, promoting diversity group their arguments about anti-blackness being contingent which you can flag this where they've had the Gordon card these are contingencies but this simply means contingent upon anti-blackness the argument has never been that anti-blackness can explain everything but rather there's not a way to explain anti-blackness due to because the violence is gratuitous this produces structural changes within the paradigm of anti-blackness conditioning shifts from slavery to Jim Crow mass incarceration which the particular form 
form of anti-blackness can change effect in which black objection remains structural. Necessity winning that there's change on the social plane is not at all responsive to the inability to change the social plane for the change on the social plane to lead a grammar to explain black suffering because it sees blackness within the world. So for example, attempt to explain each and every way that anti-black each and every way that anti-blackness manifests itself it leads to ratchets down the terrain in which we can understand violence. The examples they give on the case page are a good example of this when they say then it can lead to an end to prison reforms, etc. 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 When we see the band-aid solution, we say we should end something like police brutality or end prisons and don't see that the world is a fucking prison. And if we were to end uh, the institution of policing, obviously white KK would rise up in order to police black people in the streets. There's obviously a reason why we begin from the structural position of criminality, not that of which we uh, not, uh, not 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 that of which of uh, like policing or crime. Um, the Gordon uh, the Gordon evidence is an, uh, the, this evidence is a negative card. The extent the sex and evidence of uh, the idea of their social life and social death doesn't just prove the thesis of anti-blackness. Uh, that doesn't just prove the thesis of anti-blackness. Obviously, we can incorporate the idea that black people have agency. It's a question of if that agency is commodified by civil society and for what. Obviously, black people who had jazz and hip hop. Our argument is that those things were used as means to either ratchet like. Simultaneously, jazz was sexualized as well as criminalized uh, and then commodified for white people. Hip hop is the same. Say they led to gang culture. White people walk around saying thug and nigga. There's obviously a philia and phobia that the alternative incorporates, but humanism is bad because it gets co opted, like the affirmative, i.e., using Gordon, uh, who is obviously an Afro pessimist who just says that the, that the category of human isn't absolutely foreclosed in order to say that liberal humanism and like fucking the welfare state <laughs> is the same thing or in the direction of a politic in which he's talking about. That's obviously not true and shows sort of the reason why Gordon is incorrect is because who he gets consumed by less than like, <coughs> yes, black people can like obviously realize a radical politics, that would be the alternative. They say that capitalism causes, proximate causes, um, we've obviously, um, disagree because black people experience a lack of health due to the fact that they are black, which is proven by the fact that like a rich black person is still capable of being acted upon in extremely gratuitously racist things when they go to the doctor. Uh, still like black kids with ADD and ADHD are going to still be perceived as um, being hyper um, like aggressive in classrooms or disruptive because of the pathology marked upon black skin, so the access to the resource doesn't change the unequal distribution of health. The fundamental antagonism undergirding civil society is a slave's relationship to the world's slaves. Positionality of absolute dereliction problematizes productivity and self-articulating an inhuman cry that cannot be registered at level. Civil society recognizes subjectivity in this conjecture, the only politics possible, unflinchingly searching for grammar to articulate the specificity of black suffering. The rubric of the affirmative operates through anti blackness when he adopts the positionality of the word of particular, uh, problematizing particular relationships of production with the goal of making accumulation of capital fair, more fair and democratic. That's a king evidence. This means that they maintain an attachment to the humanity capacity that can only be articulated within civil society through, though this is specifically true in the rhetoric of economic inequality, Barrow says that economic inequality describes violence through exploitation rather than accumulation fungibility, which relies on the presumption of subjectivity and humanity to articulate its demands. Economic inequality is structurally parasitic on blackness because it relies on productivity equalizing economic production, presupposes that the problem with capitalist worker, whether the problem with capitalist workers bargaining power, the distribution of resources, there can be no ethical capitalism. This grammar relies on the problem, the position of slaves, the total non point of no productivity made possible through the transformation of African Africans black, the as political rubric forces black bodies to circulate as workers, disfiguring their demands for freedom, as this uh, demands for equality, equality of production while rendering black, uh, rendering blackness fungible. The next piece of uh, Taylor evidence here is obviously not responsive. Obviously, we can incorporate the idea that racism isn't immutable, but that we're not talking about racism, we're talking about structural anti-blackness, and racism is made coherent through blackness in the container, uh, uh, for blackness being open to a container of deviance and criminality in order to mark on other populations, which is the reason why non-black a uh, black non-black divide makes sense rather than a white non uh, a white black divide because obviously blackness is troped and scripted upon other groups at different times in order to render those groups criminal. This card, uh, our argument is not just about rhetoric, but the politic of the political horizon or how we understand the terrain in which we exist in. Uh, we're just saying that their politics is bad. The next card that says their argument about corner tripping is bad, but I'll answer it after I say this. 
Our Leon young evidence says that uh, uh, academic search for post-humanist theories and other sexy ways of describing social relations are problematic because they require pointing out and identifying the ways in which people have experiences living under the conditions of crisis, i.e. anthropologists who see how it's suffering but don't do anything about it. In that process, they leave open the wound. Their search for post-humanist makes anti-black violence fungible for the sake of theory construction by asserting a universal post-humanism. They find out the distinction between anti-black and contention violence. Their theory is disavowal, which is why they link to the black femphobia just said because it's a, not about empathy. You're talking about common fucking goals. We've said that those common goals equal the place where it's not common is anti-blackness, and henceforth your coalitions are anti-black. They say, yeah, the Jones stuff will be in the 200. I'm one of them. Or I guess they're Kapala, our Jones. You good? Mm -hmm. uh, top of the framework debate, you make the argument that plain focus trades off with the kind of discussion of anti-blackness and developing a grammar that can explain suffering, why is there necessarily a choice between the two things? I'm sorry. You, you make the argument at the top of the framework debate that plan focus trades off with developing right. a grammar of suffering. Why right. is it? A, why is there a choice? Uh, because it forces blackness into the world. I think that the explanation I give is like, when we focus on plans or ways to remediate violence, it ratchets down the terrain in which we understand that violence. So, so why is that I, true, though? Yeah, so I think I gave the example in the context of, like, police brutality. If I were to say that police brutality is bad, then the obvious solution to that would be, like, end the institution of policing. But white KKK mobs would obviously rise up in order to police the communities, well, so I guess uh, then, and then there would be no force to check that one, right? right? So, so. so I guess then my question is, why should we default to... Um, making choices based on reactions from like white supremacists. It's not about reactions to white supremacists. Well, it's that's real... what your argument is. No, no, no. It's like the realizing goes into the street, right? So why should we base our it's politics not, on that? First of all, I'm not sure there's a we, but the second part about it is that it's not a question of like how we relate to them. It's a question. It's a realization that since there is not a grammar to explain black suffering, that blackness is a fungible tool and gets commodified and reappropriated as means of criminality or sexuality. Okay. So it's not my. I make my decisions around them. It's like I don't know self. There is no self. There is no being until black people have an understanding of what it means sure. to be black. Let's talk about a little bit further down the framework debate. You talk about how there is this trade-off with the development of a grammar for suffering. A lot of the link arguments to your pornotropic arguments seem to be about the idea that the app tries to attempt to describe that suffering. What is the difference between uh, the attempts to create a grammar from the app and the neg, and how do we delineate between those two things? Well, I think that you're misunderstanding the Sexton argument about there is not a grammar to explain black suffering, and that the idea being that, we're, that there, we need to sort of sit and mediate in what it, in, in the rift of blackness in order to like um, well, I mean, I think I explained this above, so I don't mean to take up too much time, but that's different than saying like the rhetoric or the textual tools of the affirmative so are anti-black. I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. So it's that- So I'm talking about grammar, grammar in a much, much more broad sense, and I'm trying okay. to figure out a way to like say it coherently. But anyways, we're talking about like the grammar that defines a world. Materiality is all a part of this grammar, as sure. well as sort of the symbolic economy. Um, what you're talking about is like literally words. Okay, cool. The, uh, when you're describing the king evidence, you make this distinction between exploitation and accumulation. Why is the app's description of capitalism as a mechanism by which violence happens the same thing as saying all violence is exploitative rather than accumulative? Well, I think there's a difference. I mean, I'm saying that you force black people to configure their commands through the rhetoric of exploitation. Why? So there's, because you say unite around single payer, but, and but single payer says that the issue is a lack of resource distribution. I'm confused. Like, you are correct. It is not what black people experience. Okay. Uh, judge question. Would it be easier to start where Q left off or to start on the perm? So those are the two things I'm gonna do and I can start at either place. Does anyone care? Okay, then I'll do the perm. Okay, starting on the perm and then the case. So that's the order it is. Wait, sorry, you said something about the case? Yeah, it? it comes after the K. Yeah, I think I said that. <coughs> Did y'all get the doc? Not yet. I didn't get the doc. Did I send it to wrong? Uh, I sent it to a different thread. 
Send it to one with a bunch of our characters. Whoops. Okay, now I think I sent it to the right place. Yes, you did. Copyright with the moderates that wrecks the alternative, which is the one which never exists. Several DAs to the alternative one, black time phobia, their explanation of the form has kind of multiple assemblages. Co ops, black time scholarship under a TLS of recuperation that co ops, black time scholarship, which is the impacted by the Douglas evidence. See the form's coalitional strategy takes out solvency. White civil society is founded on the decimation of black bodies. Harmon Wilson in theory doesn't help us politically or psychologically define ways. And with how we live is not now just how we have a position out of the list. Why is there coherence by knowing the what they are now? We give the nation's coherence because words are under bullying and black subjects that be victimized by racist state in order. You see, you see, you see, you see the racist, the racist state, the black academics assume that there is no social command coming out between the black and the white, both the you know, white, both gestures and disavow. Dis dis this the subject can, it just can't uh, make common cause as well. With the subject, uh, with objects, they may only become objects to further instigate their subjectivity through new modalities of violence or through modalities of empathy, masters, and clubs, even today are never allies. Three, the ask Gramscianism is bad, misery is a oppression through a uh, false U.S. sense of counter hegemony. Well, listen, three, for revolution to be feasible, for a must be held in uh, revolutionary position, leaving the juridical administrative apparatus to say more or less intact at this moment to say, Comes out the goal to say violence against the white bodies that continue to destroy more grants and wisdom cannot resolve the crisis with authority. The emergence of the march, the emergence of capitalism, self violence under against the uh, black people's ontological hegemony, the emancipation of civil society. Why the left hold out no more possibility than political society? What political theories of crisis of authority by way of left expansion of civil society further insisted rather than dismantles the authority of whiteness for fungibility of the is an independent link because it makes black scholarship fungible to the literal capture of black and black scholarship to work their way to redeemability. The Q their Kapala evidence, which is where Q left off, is their humanism evidence that relies on Cesare's definition of negative. Two, that relies uh, uh, that's anti black and feels to transcend the uh, colonial structures that criticize gems of ten negative uh, poets offered uh, Africans the promise of uh, re, uh, re, re coming return to traditional values of uh, not traditional structures of mythic uh, foundation positive and uh, the unity achieved work and not timeless but uh, specific products of colonialism next to typical colonial series of the valorized uh, and not transcend the unity uh, they imagine political opposition to colonial world making uh, intent on uh, reconnecting by uh, uh, black artists as well as cannot uh, properly uh, emphasize their dialogue of European thought uh, which uh, they, they have found engaged with Cesare's two in terms of modernist European philosophy which uh, Heard their argument, Jens and Hens, there uh, under the, uh, the incarnate subject group, uh, 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 version of the myth of the inherited uh, 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 only overlain by the uh, 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 European veneer, uh, negative uh, positively defined, uh, not by predicate, uh, predicate but by verbs of the ship, uh, indicates that negative is not, uh, not to be regarded as a state, but an, uh, an activity, self exploration, and uh, uh, into the unconscious, not ongoing parts of the life of the submarine interior journey, this dynamic, uh, for identity, uh, identity formation, so that suggests that Hegelian influence and indication uh, is not an alien to destroy uh, the negated element into the, uh, the qualities preserved. Which uh, is uh, defined as the subject of the Hegelian dialogue. It simply does not uh, seem to fit the experience of Africans living in the New World. It's not sensible. Uh, that change in what's what's good. Uh, see, uh, see, uh, see, and, uh, see and work a vehicle for self realization, much with their uh, books and change necessary condition for uh, the compulsory labor was provided by which humanity is not uh, to be achieved. Market card and achieve the case arguments. They don't solve death gaps, huge. Uh, all causes, I don't think the two AC answer, like transportation, uh, language, trust, etc., which overcomes any of their spillover arguments because those are barriers to getting to uh, the doctor in the first place that other policies wouldn't solve. We uh, also indebted their VA study, which is the only empirical example. They have their two huge methodological flaws. One, the potential for selection bias. This evidence impacts it out and says that it means that you can't universalize results from the bias study, even if it's true that the military has fewer percentage of black people. That's not how statistics work, because you can't create a statistically valid study from something that is externally biased. Second, race specific differences in the path of biology of disease mean that there are different ways in which the VA didn't solve for racial disparities. They rely heavily on the social determinants of health, but they have not read a goddamn card that 
says that they cause the social determinants of health to be incorporated into policy. Their spillover evidence obviously isn't about it. Their data evidence says that private tax structure for food, clothing, and house rights are all in housing regulations are all key. Do not think team proposing social relations rather than medical solution to help them. Uh, I'll end up says income readers were using state regulation of food and clothing supplies and national housing program and industrial reforms to address occupational health problems. This evidence also concludes that uh, that evidence also concludes that if we don't address those other health reforms won't solve their their own highlighting of the Scott Samuel evidence concludes that poverty housing and exclusion outweigh the F. They already read it, but I made it bigger so that you can so that you can see it. They might say the national health program means they do those things. They obviously don't. They only have one card in the within the app that defines what it does, and it certainly says that the app is too simple and wouldn't incorporate all those other things. Wage can 16 single pair and HP will agree Medicare for all the government distribute funds to healthcare providers. It is such a simple system, which means it doesn't access all the other things. The movement business cross X was devastating. The movement meant it to be on stupid. The app has not read a single card that says any of the following things. One, that the U.S. passing single payer is key to movement organizing. Two, the U.S. healthcare is specifically key to international spillover. Three, that single payer leads to other big social programs. I think you can just vote on inheritance because of every movement card that the app has read says single movement payer movements are coming now. The only QEC response to I will insert the blue highlighting of these two cards because it's just so obvious that every com the, 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 the two issue response was that the single payer is important for movements. Sure, but those movements are happening now, so the ass alignment doesn't do anything. Their evidence is Latin American movements exist now and are already, already linking up with the US. The app would squash those movements and recenter US FG, FG policy. The logical one AR pivot is going to be that those movements are fully organized, but they dropped a turn argument. I made the one and see that if the US passes single payer, there's nothing to organize around anymore, and that there's no way that there's motivation for these movements. So they've dropped a link turn to the app. If we win the movements now argument, it just means that you should vote on presumption because it obviously solves the movement advantage. What they said in the 1AC, the bottom up movements are sufficient to spur single pair, which means it also solves the death death stuff. So I don't know what they think they're winning. If we win them with this kind of frame, it all means that the only thing that matters is our orientation towards movements. We have two reasons why you should be extremely skeptical as of the one and R and the whole 2NT is this one. Their movements are bad. The urban card is super good. It's from former Black Panther. It says that the way these movements against capitalism operationalize are always pathologizing blackness. Which is necessarily bad. Second, universal health care is neoliberal governmentality. It expands the social welfare state to create better consumers who have more money that they don't have to spend on health care to invest within the economy. This obviously this seems the app because Trump and the GOP have to pass the bill. Paul Ryan isn't going to do the most liberal version of single payer, which is what all their evidence talks about.
case The insurance limits and dependent crisis that kills hundreds of thousands, leaves millions more to suffer with chronic conditions that could otherwise be treated with universal access to healthcare, addressing single parents, university, their impacts, but they have no ability to explain how lack of insurance has shown a statistically significant relationship to mortality and suffering. Two impacts not only be solved. One, the death gap that causes 65,000 deaths annually results in chronic conditions and suffering, especially for black people, immigrants, women, trans, and queer folks. Even if we lose the entire community, you can vote on single parent good inequality, forfeiting fights against the old, blocking climate change, ecologically, media, structural violence, anti microbial resistance, and mass inequality. The affirmative solves the alternative causes to health because it's filler to the social determinants of health, which is our day bright evidence as a starting point. And jumping off point for other movements, the VA wrong arguments, it does totally generalize, but what it proves that access is a key determinant for racial health inequality too, is it specifically alleviates racial biases that exist within determined by the rate of coronary heart disease that exists within the VA changing systems like the tax code is what the affirmative code result in, which is proven by the Dave Brown evidence as well as the O'Loughlin evidence that says that the movements do inform the single parent program that would be implemented by the one to see the movements arguments. We do have evidence that says that the US is key or low often evidence that it gets about implementing a single parent plan in the United States that would empower movements in other countries to create anti-neoliberal that would create anti-neoliberal concepts they will resolve all of our internal links. That also proves that International spillover does occur. There's no argument for inherency. Movements are disorganized in the status quo, but the affirmative is necessary to cause them to coalesce around one unitary demand. Even if they're coalesced around that demand and the status quo passing it is necessary, they will not be successful now, but the affirmative forces them to be successful via fiat and also ensuring that those movements do get single pair passed. That creates a jumping up point for more movements to occur in the future, which is the day of red evidence, which resolves all of the alternative confidence. Our movements are not bad, they do not pathologize black lives. Our evidence gives the examples of black lives matter in the movement for black lives who have made the demand for universal health care, but their evidence relies on a false binary that the critique would disagree with the truth that if they can overcome that contradiction and the permutation can as well. We do not result in social welfare, nor do we empower consumers. We eliminate things like the forced choice to determine between whether or not you want to buy food or medication. Trump cannot co opt the affirmative via general fiat and the movements in form of which are the only we saw. Um, it's not just spillover. Single pair looks like those social It's not just spillover. Single pair looks like those things that incorporate social health proven by movements across Latin America. Critique. 
They've conceded that surrendering to blackness is bad. It relies on a white altruism and monolithic theory of blackness. Instead, there is a common self-interest. You don't have to problematize anything or trouble anything if all you have to do is surrender. Doing this on an individualistic scale also replicates the idea of individual racism instead of structural racism. The subjugation of blackness does not create coherence of the world, no coherence of healthcare inequalities. And anti-blackness are examples of material violence, not driven by an ontological investment that can be addressed by implementing single payer, which allows people of color to have access to equitable care, which solves all their arguments. All of our single payer good arguments answers their ontology because it proves that the condition of blackness can change in civil society. The social life cannot exist within social death. You have misread Fanon and therefore Gordon disagrees with them. Fanon says that the outside world does pathologize blackness, but for Fanon that process is not complete nor total nor should be accepted as such. Never, We have never thought of blackness in a way. It gives Europe agency to determine what civil society codes as blackness, which is an impact to their alternative. We are saying Fanon good and they are not Fanon, but the alternative fails. You should not make the perfect the enemy of good, the good. They do not accept failure. They fail at knowing how to fail. They treat all failures, justifications for moral righteousness that creates a cycle without opportunity to break out and escape the sacrifice of populations over and over again. You refuse to escape the cycle. It's quite paradoxical because the alternative requires an epistemic perfection of the one see, but then they said that we should be able to accept failure, which is that even if the one see is not perfect, it's still comparably better to be able to solve framework. If we win the normal implementation of the plan is a good idea, then you should vote for any other framework. We lose nine minutes on the one see offense and produce several local domain mere sound bites which endure the benefits of our accuracy, the impact is fairness only. Our determination preserves an equitable role for both sides to be as a game, so anything that makes it easier for one side to win is a reason to reject their framework. Our framework does not preclude the cave, which answers their wilderness sentiments, but they do preclude the affirmative, which makes it impossible to be able to win because all of our offenses predicate on winning the affirmative is a good idea. Discussing the technical details. The single pair is good. The ideological groundwork already exists, but technical details over such policies are key to prevent all right filling, which does have uniqueness because debates are occurring about how to create single pair. Every performance of single pair in intellectual spaces is linking up with the anti neoliberal movements, which the Ansel Scott Smith have been to trade off with a grammar of suffering. That is not offense for them because they said trying to develop a grammar of suffering is bad. That is porno tripping, which answers all of their arguments. The single pair is not coming now. That was answered about porno tripping. Our method of relationality is good and answers all, the, uh, all those arguments. White people and non black people constantly interact with blackness, so what does it mean to opt out, which is what the alternative does? Relationality doesn't only take the form of antagonism and accumulation. The one who sees a better form of relationality because they acknowledge that relationality is possible. The world is not a closed system. Changes and shifts allow us to interact positively and negatively that makes dominance of black women only one irrational which traps them into the cycle of violence which actually their black femophobia DA because it proves that we're not co-opting black women we're rather saying that it's not mutually exclusive with the entirety of the affirmative ontology. It's not true. Their theory of power is wrong. Their assertion that power operates at the level of antagonism is wrong. It's rather dialectical. This is a non starter because their view of anti-blackness is the world is inebriated by anti-black technology but their theory relies on adherence to the passage of time. Their historical references from the plantation to Towards, uh, the President Industrial Congress proved that the uh, sort of antagonism towards blackness can change and is valuable too as failure is necessary for understanding the relation of power and creation of the future. Gordon uh, articulates that actions of failure inform the actions and kinds of political life that are lived in the context of black existence. The failure of past change shape the future. All this needs to speak to the uh, need to act unequivocally, which answers their indict of Gordon and proves that they are misreading Fanon. Humanism does not get co opted and will be explained a little bit lower. We do solve black health outcomes that was explained above, and we do provide access to research because we create demand for more hospitals. There's no fundamental antagonism, nor do we lead to an, uh, no do we lead to an accumulation of capital. The affirmative is informed by both economics and race, which is that we don't think that neoliberalism is the sort of dividing position that determines what constitutes all forms of oppression, but rather it can inform our advocacy, but it's also informed by race, which is proven by the fact that we take into account the demands of black movements that are saying we need to have access to universal health care. The arguments about a search for post-humanism is wrong, and it doesn't rely on our theory. Our argument is radical humanism, which is also a DA towards the alternative. Now, the permutation is sufficient to be able to resolve their coalitions argument was answered above. Our Taylor evidence says that they are necessary across multiracial lines in order for our demands to become effective. The link is not a flinch, which is proven by their arguments about Pioneers on the other page, we don't misunderstand oppression. We're not saying that the state can always be ethical, but that in one instance it is possible. We do not make black scholarship fun. We do not make black scholarship fungible. We just prove that there's no mutual exclusivity between them. Their first piece of Jones evidence critiquing, critiquing humanism is citing St. Gore and his pro Caesar, and I'll assert that because Katz thinks that's okay. Their second card concedes that radical nature of Caesar's poetics can create ruptures in the colonial view of black subjects. For truth, that they're just massively misreading the Jones evidence. But humanism is important. Our present moment is defined by things such as global warming and endemic financial crisis. But the only way to be able to address things is to have a positive orientation towards history. They ascribe things such as civil society, humanity, liberty, and equality to, the, to Europe, but rather our argument is that enslavement was never a total process and that there's a capacity for relationality to be able to exist. Affirming that language of humanism is important because it empowers resistance to forms of violence that exist in the statute which impact trans ontology arguments.
Lopi, Case, and Nicotique. solidarity. They conceded the Hartman and Wilderson card, which is a disad to coalitions because it says that the 
there is no coherence in the touch. Okay, yeah, that there is no coherence. Uh, there is no relationality between black people and their allies because the filian phobia distinction still emerges, and that you have to use the grammars of civil society in order to incorporate to get yourself to the process of humanity, which is quite literally what their argument is about vitalism. It says that we should reincorporate the terms of democracy uh, and the sort of you know, freedom, et cetera, in order to incorporate themselves into relationship with black people. They assert that we had misread Gordon, but they had misread Gordon. This is not only a negative card, but it also means that they uh, link to the, uh, that it definitely links to the Leong evidence about a search for post-humanists and an ability to incorporate blackness in into the fold uh, by, uh, well, I mean, the Leon card just says that the way that we think about new futures and the way that we incorporate a new radical humanism is by incorporating the structural theory and ultimately leading to a universal like humanity and ending up in a colorblind politics. Any link to the any link is a dissent to the permutation and the co-link. Uh, I explained the coalition link above, and they also concede the Gramsci dissent that they misread oppression because they think that it's counter hegemonic. The philia-phobia distinction answers all of the offense that they've made against the ontology arguments because our argument is that blackness does have agency, but it's con co consumed. They don't answer the Jones evidence correctly. This card is about Césaire and their interpretation of vitalism. We've impacted on vitalism and said that vitalism vitalizes civil, white civil society because it assumes that fucking hip-hop and like poetry should have changed the world. 338, I think.
Sorry, he's one of the others. Uh, Case K.
Yeah, I'm just going to compile everything with all the markings. Yeah. When you're done with that, can you just see the updates you've done for that thing that's just working? Yeah. Because I only have the Harris's one, so I don't have your cards on the same subject. Okay. There's just a bunch of spaces where things are marked.
Howdy Doody. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up.
I was going to say, do you need anything before I go? <laughs> Overhauls. Could be, could be a mill. Could, could be doing a lot of things. Could be both. Could be both. Could be a construction mill.
Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll do something. Yeah, that's all I need. Thank you.
significant reduction in overall depth gaps. I think the negatives arguments, defensive arguments are pretty inadequate. Um, and just the uh, you know, argument in the 2AR about uh, how health care is something that trades off with, say, various economic things. And I, so I'm wholly on board with that. I think, I think the neoliberal uh, spillover stuff uh, isn't really defended by you all um, too well. Uh, and I can go into s for some further details on that, but I think it's less relevant. Um, but honestly, after I, I, I think health care is good, plan advocacy good in the area of providing health care, saves some lives, reduces uh, a lot of harm. Um, I don't think that the negative really goes for unique disadvantages against that health care system that would cause problems. So the expansion of the welfare state and then how that's used to be able to, uh, you know, possibly cause violence against black populations or others. I don't think that that argument is very well extended. Now the problem for me, uh, is my land on what I think is the framework debate um, and whether or not the advocacy of the plan uh, as well as the 1AC needs to be affirmed. Uh, and I think that this is the, the spot where you had kind of more going for you earlier, but more time in the 2AR is needed to really just focus on why the plan is needed. And one particular argument that I think is consistent uh, on the negative is well, you know, look, we as a community are debating basically single payer in every one of these debates. You have to prove why a unique instance of uh, your all's advocacy for it matters. Otherwise, it seems like those other debates will be able to solve for some of your policy advocacy-based arguments. Um, and honestly, I don't really have a response to that in, in several of the speeches. Um, and so then, you know, if that, if that severs, if, if that could solve um, for just single payer being good, um, you know, it seems like it cuts back against that offense. And then the relationality argument is something that, that does matter. And so if I think that there are risks of links to the way that the 1AC is set up uh, in causing problems, i.e., come and join this movement, trust us, you know, we won't pr promote whiteness in any, any way, uh, it seems, you know, their evidence is fairly good. You know, social movements can be terrible. You can enter into a situation in which your concerns are being ignored. I think their evidence is decent on that. Um, you know, a decent defense of the permutation, overwhelming maybe that link turn. Uh, could be another place to really spend a lot of time in explaining how the permutation operates. But the problem that I have uh, beyond that, where I just where I don't just vote, you know, AF on uh, the plan, is, is that you do have basically fairness as your main, you know, focus and argument. Well, they read a piece of evidence that you know how it can be. I mean, the card when when read is is pretty good 
uh, and it needs just direct responses, or at least a debate uh, focus is distinct from what this piece of evidence is referencing. Um, you know, here's why, how this academic thing that we're doing, or this debate and competition thing works. We can't just get rid of much bad advocacy. It needs to, you need clear disadvantages to the plan and how it operates. Um, okay, so uh, I think in that instance, when it comes to relationality, I think the link arguments about, um, you know, the risk of movements, uh, uh, you know, basically promoting whiteness or possible co-optation by white populations, uh, many of the counter examples that are not healthcare specific, uh, i.e., you know, the I think the story that's told a few times about well, let's get rid of the police, and then there's going to be some back in violence that continues to wrap around. All of those are uh, additional impacts beyond just healthcare that I think you know voting negative is a lot easier to solve. And so, uh, if I conclude that voting AF is an essential to solve for single payer, all of these other impacts are there. It begs the question of permutation is enough. The 2AR says the perm is dropped. Not exactly the case. There's a Leong evidence that's extended in direct reference to the permutation. Um, and so starting with the premise of it was dropped probably isn't the best approach because that's more of like a techniques uh, issue in terms of the debate rather than here's why the perm is the best option in response to all of the link arguments would be the best approach, right? Because I, I, I think on the Gordon evidence, I'm actually kind of waffling back and forth on this. I mean, uh, I think the deep reading that's happening in both of the speeches of Gordon evidence is great debate. I can't confidently, having not you know sat and really read and inquired about Gordon versus the rest of the literature, confidently say who's winning that debate round. And I think your interpretation in terms of you know the alternative possibly locking down um, you know, solutions to maybe social problems and issues is, uh, isn't a bad interpretation of it. And again, uh, I think I, why I spent 80% of my time thinking I'm voting AF on single payer death gaps is I think that if I vote NAG, that that stuff kind of continues. And so I can have a risk of a permutation to be able to resolve those and maybe, you know, solving for some of the links. So I don't know if you have other questions beyond that, but. Um, yeah, I, I, I largely, I agree um, with all of that. I guess there maybe with a difference of degree on a couple of questions in which I turned it, I turned it more strongly negative. Um, I think that the framework debate is in fact dispositive. Um, the Wilderson evidence beats, uh, I mean, the, the, there, you have a, a quick reference to fairness. You say the words debate as a game, but then the bulk of your explanation is invested in this Taylor evidence. There seems to me, and this seems to me to speak to a sort of fundamental uh, uh, suture, at least. I wouldn't say incoherence, because at the app, all your arguments are still coherent and they can work together. But there's a little bit of suture because you have a sort of a pure gaming argument, but all of that app <laughs> is attached to an idea that debate is an actual vehicle for political training that then it allows us to better function within the polis and within civil society, um, and which is a defensible claim, but it's very detached from your fairness claims, which is why that needs to have more defense. Um, and so I think that you know they, they have evidence that's more about debate that it could potentially be disconnected from debate, but that it at least appears to initially be describing a fantasy space and the effects of imagining the plan. You have evidence that talks about the effects of coalitions. They have a better internal link to their turn than you have an internal link to your sort of coalitional impacts. And so I think that they are ahead on the framework debate. And when that happens, that, and it, that means that I foreground the question of who best conceives subjectivity and who conceives some of these questions more academically, which takes away, I think, a lot of the pragmatic focus that you want to maintain. I think the negative crispness of explanation gets some way ahead on the overall desirability of some of these movements. Um, and I think that your uh, tendency to try to try to expand to encompass those movements just runs you into more offense. And I think that attempting to stay very narrowly focused on the factual questions of health gaps and pursuing not a broad coalitional strategy, but something in which there are potentially contingent intersections <coughs> might have been a better way to go in this circumstance. So I think there's all, Sorry, what was that like, like, just like, like health gap, about? health gaps are bad. Not everything, not ev we should save lives when we can. We should not use broad political strategies to reject contingency. It's a much different, it's a much different debate. And that's not like a huge macro suggestion on my part. I just, uh, all I'm really saying, and, and it, cause it may be possible to defend your coalitional strategy uh, differently. I just think that the, your instinct to say, yep, it's everything, it's all of the things is bad because Kansas is then able to generate offense to things like prison reform as a result, which I think is a, a useful impact in a concrete way of, of articula of, of 
me uh, envisioning the difference between the af and the neg in this instance. I, I think that the perm is helpful, but um, you know, uh, uh, agree on well, not just explained because uh, like I know what what a perm is, but it needs to be impacted, yeah. right? You need to say what the perm is getting you, and I think that the best way this was alluded to before, so this is basically just repetition, but uh, is that you know you should be talking about how the perm is is not just like a defensive argument, but as an active political strategy, is a way of pursuing many of their goals without making the perfect the enemy of the good. Um, uh, on the ontology debate, I thought I was I was more ontology debates and your, your conceptions of different authors. I, I actually was a little bit more strongly negative on this than my colleague. I think that the Gordon evidence, I, I don't think that reading the Gordon evidence is a good idea because they have a card in the 1NC that answers it explicitly and like this Sexton evidence that's like just an on-point answer to Gordon and I think also is does a good job of articulating their, their vision. It, it, they essentially Essentially, are advanced ahead of the two AC on this, like as of the one NC, because they have a, a evidence. Because they're saying that ontology is conceived as an a be, the best overall methodology for analyzing the political, but distinguishes between that and the way that you're characterizing ontology as a set of deductive relationships that must always be true, right? So you're saying like, look, there are individual instances of there are individual instances of social life and progress, etc. All of those contradict your totalizing view. They've read a card in the one NC. It's like, hey, we're not totalizing. Here's what the the conception of us as totalization is. Here's the difference and. and Starts that comparison from the outset, and I think that they, I think that, that the uh, the negative does a decent job of presuming that they're well ahead in that debate. Doing that, I thought, relatively efficiency, and then making sure to impact that to make that potentially dispositive. The two questions that I thought then could potentially resolve in your favor would be this surrender question um, or the Marison evidence. Um, I. You know, and this was uh, th this could have been, I think, maybe uh, covered more extensively by the negative. But at the same time, it's describing liberal allyship, definitely like not the alt at all. And it's it's, it's comparative to a different baseline. It's saying like, oh, and like white people talk about privilege and like how they're super awesome and how they can be great allies. That's that's really some shit. And like probably true, but that's much diff much 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 different, I think, than like the Brady and Murillo version of surrender. I think that those are just like fundamentally two. It, maybe opposite, but definitely way different. I also think that there's like interesting stuff that could be explored on the ground versus goals, but I think that this ends up being treated pretty elliptically. Like there's a reference to it, but in, in like the distinction sounds appealing. I can see ways maybe that hashes out, but I think that it's a distinction uh, without much of a difference. Uh, I won't go on and on about the case debate, but I actually thought that the the neg had some business here. Like I didn't think, I, I think that, two, that the two things that you, you probably needed to articulate in the case debate just to make sure that they ding the case less than they do are first of all, just an overarching uniqueness explanation. Cause you're like, they fail now, they're, they're discouraged. I'm not sure what piece of evidence that refers to. Um, and then they have a decent quiescence story that they, that I mean, maybe needs a card for. I think that your evidence answers this, but the warrant that you need to draw out is that health is a prerequisite for doing things because otherwise activists are like sick and die. And I think that you continue to discuss this a lot more along the axis of like, it, it, like what mobilizes movements or what energizes them. But you have a more, much more baseline explanation, a couple of your cards that I think are, are excellent in saying like, look, if we don't have health insurance, the precariat is always just terrified. Nobody mobilizes because they could just die at any time. Everybody's trapped in like shitty job lock. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that would have factored in into a, 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 a different calculus, but I did. I but I, I did go through and, and read through the evidence. And I thought that your cards are way ahead, but a couple of the warrants, drawing the warrants out of that, would have definitely kind of staunched more of the bleeding on the case. Who did negative against the rhetoric of optimism and solidarity? A rhetorical frame. I thought the negative won a unique disad to that outweighed in turn the F. Thought their link arguments framed how I thought the app would take place within a larger scheme of balance and made me more than wary of the app's optimism uh, to the point of refusal to reinvest in it. I felt nervous after the 2AR about how I would decide the debate from your point of view for three reasons. I thought that you were great at explaining your stuff throughout the debate um, and sort of applying them to like apro pessimism generally, but I didn't think you really answered very well uh, the like impact turns to solidarity that I thought were quite strong from the negative. The second thing is the framework stuff, which was sort of mentioned, but this, just to add one line to that, the strategy to be like, okay, fine, well, you said prior question, we'll just take secondary question, but like, your framework's not exclusive of our thing, 
uh, seems dangerous to me because then if they win a framing argument, it can turn the way your app might go down, or at least expand the picture of things I'm considering, which is sort of what you'll see ended up happening for me. And third is I thought there was sort of a little bit of a misdiagnosis of the attitude of the critique in the two era. A lot of times you spend time saying things like the alt can't solve or can't like join up, but I never thought really that that was the goal. The beginning from the one and C was like, don't be happy, refuse the positive affect kind of stuff. And so the that sort of gets you going down the wrong road. Anyway, um, the central question of this debate for me was whether or not the cost of investing in the rhetoric of solidarity and optimism outweighed the benefits of single payer itself or turn the ability to arrive at it as such or whether your single payer stuff outweighs on its own. Um, I thought there was maybe more case shenanigans than the other two judges did. Um, the plan seemed to change a lot in the 2AR. Like the actual plan suddenly became not just single payer, but like the movements change what the plan is and now the plan is all of these things. Um, because the, like the 2AC cross X I thought was not great for you all. I thought you sort of figured out the answer that you wanted to go with at the very end of it. I, I think you maybe misdiagnosed the question, which I'll return to um, in a second. But then the 1AR was like, allow me to not re-clarify the app and go through as many arguments as possible. And so when you did your 2AR re-clarification, I was a little bit like, what? Um, the negative says that rhetoric of combating neoliberalism and health functions as a sort of master signifier that people come to organize around common goals and get together as sort of you put it in the 2AR in order to achieve those goals. But they say that coming together um, might achieve the goal, women's suffrage, civil rights, but that at the end of the day, black people are still left out. And we can see that in effects such as police brutality, uh, crackdowns by Hoover's FBI, and a sort of infinite redistribution of violence um, that you in terms of like, to put that in terms of the ontology stuff, the UN might be able to be overcome maybe somewhere down the road, but not that you do that. I'm not even sure you conclusively win that it could be. Anyway, um, they say that this is a sort of corner troping or maybe a vampirism argument about profiting off of the participation of black people. Um, that it's sort of like a come on black people who are suffering from poor health outcomes, like lend us your energy to combat the moderates and get single payer done, but then these people get left behind all while being drained of their energy along the way, which is sort of the impact of the vitalism stuff in the 2NR, and that they become the sort of raw material that is used to vitalize your movements, um, something I don't think the permutation would solve because it would convert the alternative surrendering into the vitalization process. Um, I, I pause for a second here to just think about this like interesting organic metaphor of like draining the like life blood out of a concept of blackness that makes the machinery of civil society operate. It's almost like a transfusion process. That was interesting. Um, returning to the decision, uh, in my mind, the 2AR does not address this problem of this like vampirism, what they're calling corner trophy, so I like my word better. Uh, besides saying that solidarity is good because it solves death gaps. But how does that solve that link argument? Um, how does it solve that impact argument? It just resolves one instance of it is your answer and that, that instance outweighs. Their argument then is far more assumptive of the AF um, to say that yes, it may solve death gaps, but it sort of redistributes that. Um, and in fact, the framing necessary to invest in the solving of death gaps is like sort of revitalizes that machine that I talked about. Um, so the question that you would want to ask me about this and that your 2AR does sort of push as the last line of defense is this, is the link unique in the sense that it should outweigh the death gaps? And I think maybe that's uh, the closest place you come uh, in your last line of defense that like, even if we are bad, we're a little good and like lots of things are bad, man. Like we should do little good things. To me, it seems like every sort of framing argument they went for is an impact turn to this type of, type of like rhetorical disposition. And from the one and see the critique began by telling me to refuse this. And having won their link arguments, I begin with a point of like skepticism about this. So I think that even if you're right about the sort of death gaps claim, um, simply knowing what lurks behind your claim um, makes me very skeptical of it. I thought of an analogy for this. Do you know that Rick and Morty episode where the devil sells the like things that like hurt you? 
Okay. Good. Dude, this decision. It's a great decision. <laughs> I just faced up for a second. I came okay. back in. You know, she I'm went like really sideways. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe it's like trivializing, but I think it is oh, actually God. useful for understanding it. He, he tells you these things that you think are really good, uh, but actually have these hidden side effects, right? And it's like they're telling me that these things have hidden side effects, and you're like, but you should buy them anyway because they have little good things, right? And so it's the, a it's a, and the Rick and Morty yeah, is right the students. Yeah, so. but I figured the teens. Oh, the in with the teens. And, in with the teens. teens. The pop with the teens now. Yeah. Will Morty is very, very in with the teens. Hip with the teens. You heard it from Antonucci. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that link argument establishes a severe amount of skepticism about what it would cost to invest in that type of optimism. And so. Um, I sort of thought there a little bit more about the framework debate, the establishing of the importance of rhetoric. Um, the negative sort of uses this to establish to your like focus on the outcome of the plan, the death gap stuff. And they use framework to sort of be like both the scholarship and the rhetoric of the 1AC sort of prior to the plan is important and the stuff after it is important. So the stuff after it's important because that sort of redistributing, continuing to suck out the vitalism stuff means in a way that your impact is inevitable. And the rhetorical framing stuff means that there's a unique dissent to the app. Um, I think the case stuff was already sort of discussed by other people. Um, so maybe I won't go into that. I, I will add just one line um, about this stuff that I thought maybe if the cross-ex of the 2AC had gone differently, I could have been gettable on like a neolib warming extinction outweighs type of thing that maybe is worth keeping alive more in the 2AC and making a bigger part of it and like death is bad. Um, but the answer to the question, why are the UK and Canada not following the US's model right now and like if they wanted to be leftist, why wouldn't they just do it? it needs a better answer in cross -ex. Like I was less willing to dig through the evidence based on what I saw as waffling in the cross -ex on that. Actually, so one, one thing. You should have kicked that in the two hour. The neolib stuff? Yeah, movements. Movements yeah. for lovers. You should have explicitly kicked it because only, because like presu presume that you like win all the case stuff, you it's still, still could have potentially, yeah, because they have a unique case turn. But if you, if you are just like, we save some lives, Movements, yeah. There's no international spillover of movements, so whatever. Um, I think then you get your you immediately you get, get rid of the stuff. quiescence turn. Yeah, you get rid of the possibility of losing on a quiescence turn, which is a I, I probably wouldn't have voted on it, but it's like a non-zero possibility. Yeah. yeah, I didn't really address some of your like things about the altruism thing. I didn't really talk about the permutation um, or the failure stuff. So let me do that real, real quick. Um, the altruism thing I thought relied on sort of like an individual forgiveness of like black individuals, and I didn't think you did the work to distinguish it. Um, so maybe if you had talked about it in terms of how the ballot is individualizing or debate is, but I thought they were just like, it's not that, it's not about individuality or identity, it's about like surrendering to blackness just like generally, which doesn't seem to be able to like fulfill the conditions that your card necessitates for that altruistic moment. Um, the failure stuff on the ontology thing, I was kind of confused by what you were doing here. There was like a lot of, kept saying failure and it felt like Samuel Beckett -y and it, it just kind of, mm. uh, the permutation, I can talk more about that if you care. Uh, the permutation stuff, I think I said a lot above, but the impact turn of the framing thing seems hard to dissociate from your stuff. 